Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews with another tutorial for you. In today's tutorial, I want to show you how to add your own custom video to uh, Mobilize just in case it doesn't add one for you automatically. In this particular case, I'm adding uh, for a client video, but for some reason, the, uh, the AMP that I'm choosing doesn't really have a video that it could add to this. Okay, I can't really, you, it has this one right here, but this is not the one I really want. So like, for example, if I add that right there, and then say, for instance, um, add a video, it only wants me to add a YouTube video. Okay, so uh, I don't wanna do that. I want to just put a video right here in the center, and I'm going to show you how to add it yourself. Okay, so let's erase this one. So we're gonna go ahead and add an HTML block here. And I'm gonna show you how to do it in two ways. I'm going to show you how to add the YouTube video right there in the center, if you wanna add it yourself and maybe customize it. And I'm gonna show you how to add your own HTML uh, video, HTML5 video. That way you don't have to have a referral to any type of YouTube video at all, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is add a YouTube video. And actually you're gonna find that it's basically the same on both cases. So we're gonna go to YouTube and we're gonna click share. I'm doing this off screen and I'm gonna get the embed code. And that's usually how we do um, YouTube video. We just take this here and we paste in the embed code. And if I do that, as you can see, this is the uh, embed code video, embedded video, but I don't want it to be this way. I want it to be um, actually pretty much in the center and I want it to obviously be um, responsive. So we're going to go ahead and, and do that. So you can follow along with this code, okay? So let's go ahead and click in here. And it's actually quite easy. We're going to wrap this in two divs, okay? We're gonna wrap it in a div and then another div. And let's go ahead and close those two divs, okay? So let's go ahead and name just for um, ease. Let's give this, uh, name of YouTube vid. Let's call this vid holder. And then let's call this vid styler. Okay, so we got the vid styler and the vid holder and the YouTube vid. Okay, so what we're going to do here is uh, we don't need this, any of this. So what we're going to do is the, we're going to go a little bit backwards. So what we're going to need to do is let's do the YouTube video first. So you can see what I'm doing. So let's go to YouTube video and we're going to make the position absolute and we're going to do left zero, top zero, and then width a hundred percent height 100% and I'm glad that they've added Emmett to um, to this. So for instance, I can actually do YouTube vid two and it does the complete Emmett, which is awesome. And I could actually do, for instance, A times four and then um, href equals this, and actually I probably have to do the times four at the end. That happens sometimes. And as you can see, it works perfectly. So uh, Mobilize has added Emmet to their HTML editor, which is great. So we have the, uh, the YouTube vid. That's what we're gonna do with that. So since this is absolute, the actual holder is gonna be position relative, okay? And then we're gonna give our height of zero, and then we're gonna do a padding bottom of 56.25%. And the reason we're doing that is that 
the calculation is always done uh, height over width. So if we do the height, which is 720 over the width, which is 1280, then you'll always get 56.25. That's what you're going to use for this uh, padding bottom. And this is actually what's going to create the um, transition. So for instance, if we do that like this, as you can see, our video is responsive. Okay. So now that it's responsive, we don't want the video to take up all of this space right here. So we're going to limit the space of the video. Okay. So let's go ahead and edit right in here. And that's what our vid styler is going to do. So in our vid styler, we're going to do margin zero auto to center it. And then we're going to do a width of 95%. Oops, 95. Let me do that like this width of 95% in order to keep it from touching the sides. And then we're going to do a max width of, let's say, I don't know, 600 pixels. Okay. So let's try that. And as you can see, it's going to not touch the edge. It's not touching the edge here and it's going to um, be responsive, completely responsive to a point. So we can actually stand to make it just a little bit bigger. So let's go ahead and make this perhaps uh, 800 pixels. So let's go ahead and click in here and say that our max width is 800 pixels. And now that's a little bit better and it's still responsive. Okay. So the great news is that we can do the same thing with HTML five, the exact same thing. So let's go ahead and bring some, another HTML in here. And this time we're going to just go ahead and copy this over. Actually, no, let's do it from scratch so we can practice. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to click into here. Okay. Now this time we're going to say video and now our source is going to be, um, I've already uploaded it to the FTP site. So we're going to go ahead and grab it. Okay. And there's our video. Okay. Showing up right here. Now the problem is that we don't have any controls on it. So let's go ahead and put some controls. And now we have some controls. Now there's only one issue. I don't want them to be able to just download like that. So we're going to say controls list equals no download. Okay. And once we do that, when they click here, the download is no longer there. It just says picture in picture. Okay. Which is fine. So again, we can do that same thing. We're going to say ID equals um, my video. Okay. We're going to wrap this in a div called um, video, video styler. And then inside of video styler is video holder. Okay. So there you go. And then we're just going to take this and drag it up here. And now we have the same situation we had before, except now it's with video styler and video holder. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this again. So the video styler, it's going to be width of, well, fourth margin of zero, uh, auto. And then we're going to say width of 90% max width of 850 pixels. And then we're going to say vid holder position rel uh, relative and then uh, padding bottom 
56.25% and height of zero. And then we're going to say uh, my video is position absolute, left zero, top zero, width 100%, height 100%. Okay. And now we should have, oh, it might help if I actually put video holder. There we go. So as you can see, it's a little bit wider than the one above because we, we added uh, 25 pixels on each side. But again, it's actually just fine. So now, why did we do that also? Now we can actually make this a little bit more uh, pleasing to the eye. So let's go ahead and erase this YouTube one because we want, he wanted, uh, my client didn't want a YouTube. He wanted it to be uh, actually, you know, the video that's actually part of the video. Um, and then maybe have them go to YouTube using a, a button. So that's, that's beyond the scope of this video. So let's go ahead and kind of add this information right here. So the color, this color right here, let's figure out what this color is. So all you have to do is click on any color. So we can actually click on this color right here and then say more. And then this gives you the actual color of the website it's using. So we say copy to that. And we're going to take it here and we're going to say to our styler, we're going to say overflow hidden. Why we're we doing hidden? Because we're going to do a border radius of seven pixels and then a border that is uh, five pixels, then that color and then solid. And then when we have that, we actually have a nice border around our video that matches this border. And we can actually make it a little bit wider, which is what I want to do. So let's do this instead of five, 10, instead of five pixels, let's do 10 pixels, just so it's nice and pronounced. And uh, see us in action. And then I'm going to put below here, click here for more. And that's basically it. That's how we do a nice responsive video that is an HTML5 video in Mobirize. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Have a wonderful day.